everybody and welcome back. It is Gumchoo and I'm so happy to see you again. A familiar face too. Very much appreciative of your existence and the fact that you're willing to stop by for another video. Let's go ahead and chew some gum like we usually do as my name is Gumchoo and this is where we strictly chew gum on the channel. And if you're new here, I'm going to go ahead and tell you you're in for a wild ride of adventure, storytelling, soft speaking, and unlocking some of the best senses to help you relax, detox, get ready for sleep. The list goes on. So I'm just here today to pay a kind, friendly visit to your mind. I'm hoping to maybe unlock some of your senses, being able to help you sleep. This will be a very quick video, but I figured it didn't hurt to try and connecting with you again. It's always fun trying to crinkle the wrapper of my gum. But anyways, so how are you? I'm doing well, I hope. A couple of interesting things. I went for my very first physio appointment slash massage appointment and that was quite the interesting experience I met a really wonderful I guess therapist he seemed very experienced and he was so kind to give me some pinpointers to help me if you didn't know I experienced a lot of issues with my shoulders ever since I started working out a lot more frequently. And with that, I started causing issues in my shoulders and my workouts. I was more concerned because lifting heavier weights or even holding up my arm was very, very difficult for me at times. Now. For years of my life, I've been dealing with a condition that makes me feel very vulnerable to talk about openly, but I have serious gynecomastia, which a lot of times to avoid being picked on from friends, family, strangers, bullies from school, I would always hunch over, and this posture that I held for so many years in my life caused me to, you know, cause for some irregular posture issues and shoulder issues. I'm infringing a lot of tension and um, a lot of, I guess, pressure on weak parts of my shoulder. I should not be experiencing that. In fact, I'm emphasizing a lot of my exercises by moving a lot of these points, which in doing so for so many years, it causes for a lot of issues. And so, he gave me some pinpointers. And I gotta be honest with you, I expected my experience to be different but I ended up 
walking away, very bruised. <laughs> I got bruises all down my arm. That light does not sound very promising. Just one second. I think it's okay. Anyways, I ended up being really hurt from my appointment. But you gotta go for these things from time to time to really help yourself. Especially when your body's really trying to communicate to you that there's an issue going on and you're probably not even really paying attention to it for so long. So I decided it was time to go in and talk to somebody about it. I think it was a really wise decision because I'm now starting to pay attention to how I posture myself, give myself some time to stretch and massage the areas that are causing me a lot of pain. But yeah, it was very fascinating because when he started putting pressure on certain points in my body, you can see how my body was tensing up and a lot of the time the pain was just shooting right down my arm, right down my arm, right to my biceps, my forearms, my fingertips. Things were really, feeling really um, tingly, it was really bizarre. But anyways, so I guess my message to you today is to definitely look out for yourself and go treat yourself. Either it's a spa day or you go to a massage therapist or a physiotherapist. It might be very expensive, sure, but it's your body. You only got one. You gotta make sure you take good care of it. Uh, even right now, I'm trying my best to steer away from being hunched over. <laughs> you. <laughs> but anyways. Somebody was um, mentioning that my microphone is very quiet. I don't know if it's whether or not I'm quiet or if it's because my microphone is not that great at picking up sound. So I don't really know what to think about that. I'm kind of worrying because I got this microphone for a really sweet deal. And it would be unfortunate because I only just got it like, you guys probably know, like last four months, maybe three months I got it. And I loved using it since, but I think it has a really hard time picking up proper sound at a good decibel rating. I'm probably a little bit more quiet than I anticipated. But anyways, I digress. I appreciate his comment or her comment or their comment. What are some things you're planning to do this weekend? I'm interested to know. Leave a comment down below. I understand that tomorrow's Friday. And it's maybe Friday for some other people who are watching this in other parts of the world. Right? So, happy Friday to you. As for me, I still gotta give it a couple hours to get there. But, tomorrow's gonna be really interesting. I'm gonna be playing some pool with, um some friends will be like a double day sort of thing and then Saturday I'm going down to work on my 1999 Yamaha Virago 1100 it's a cruiser bike that I have it's been experiencing some ignition issues to which I realized I know what the problem was so I'll be going down and working on the bike to where it's stored and hopefully bring it home soon because that'll be very exhilarating right so yeah 
and be able to bring that thing home. It'll be wonderful. I've been experiencing really nice, lovely weather every few days, and I think it's pretty much safe to say that we're getting spring rather early. So the great grand groundhog, rather. I don't know what I was about to say. The great groundhog that determines if we get an early spring or not on Groundhog Day. I gotta be honest with you. I give them props because it seems as though they're very accurate with this time of year. Some of the times, though, I feel like they were a little bit disoriented or something like that. Yeah, early spring. Next thing you know, we got like three or four winter phases. It's rather interesting, but I don't judge. The groundhog does a good job as it is. Keep at it, little guy. You know. Hmm. Oh, and there goes that one. Oh, anyway, so Saturday be working on the bike and then I think I'll be meeting up with a colleague and her partner with my partner as well going for a little double date as well on Saturday night and then Sunday I may be paying a visit to my parents but definitely also to my good friend who passed away which I'll be making a visit to his grave and um, saying hi and seeing how he's doing and Hoping all the best for him up in heaven. Yeah. Mm, that'll be really nice. You know, with things like that, it's always very hard for me to process. I'm not really great with death. I don't think anybody is, but considering that it was like my first experience ever was like my best friend, that was really really challenging for me even to this day like I get really emotional talking about it but it's been like years since he's gone but I know he's still around I know he's paying a visit from time to time to make sure I'm okay yeah it was his birthday in the first week of March and um it was too sad to know that all the things we planned in life were just cut so short, but he's still here with me in spirit, I know. And well, it kind of took a turn of a topic of discussion, that's for sure. But I'm truly hoping of making an appearance again on live last time we had live this past weekend was exhilarating we had like some like 120 people coming in and out of the live stream and i was just beyond flabbergasted with all the supportive comments and people actually trying to have conversations with me it was really fun but i do hope the next time around i have a live stream i'll probably aim to do something fun like i don't know a board game or something of interest I don't want to keep it too boring. Yeah. Looking back at it, it was a really fun time. And I appreciate everybody who ever stops by the live streams. They're not ever scheduled. So I'll give you that heads up. So if you were like, oh, when are your live streams ever happening? It's like, I don't really know. Usually I just show up and just hope for the best. And um, I don't really ever experience some sort of like a time to do it like every week. It's not like a weekly thing either. But I just do it. And I, you know what? I try really hard to get to know my fans better and my followers and get to connect with people. And it's I, I'm a big social butterfly and I don't often get the chance at this age and this time in my life to really go out there and socialize and meet people. But every time that I do through virtual things like this or at work, it's a really nice way to network or just get a chance to talk with strangers and maybe not be so strangers after all and feel more 
closer with the people that, you know, support you and love the stuff that you do and whatnot or love your personality on, on like a YouTube content creation page like this or whatever it might be. I think it's really moving and uh, that's what keeps me going every day. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. But long story short, I do hope that you make an appearance this weekend if I do a live stream. And if not, I do hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I hope to see you on the next video. Remember, you're amazing. You're absolutely unique and wonderful and beautiful in your own way. And you all matter. You're very worthy. You have strong value. And your existence is what keeps the world spinning. So make sure you pull through for me if you're having a tough time. And if you ever want to reach out, don't be shy to reach out to me or talk to somebody over the phone. And I really hope to see you again in the next one. Thank you guys so much. Much love for you all. Take care and be safe. Bye.